Hi, Troopaloopas. My little Troopaloops. My little Troopaloopas. Welcome, 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 welcome. This is just going to be a quick update on energy, 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 energy. Woohoo. I just ended up at least. Woohoo. August 27th. Next couple days. I got sunshine. Persevere. Persevere. Okay. I know that I can do anything I want to do as long as you set your mind to it. Okay, so I might have to push through some shit. All right, we have success at the bottom of the deck, but right now we have forgiveness, acknowledge that harboring resistance blocks the flow of love. So you're harboring something. Sheldon, what are you doing? Um, so this is, this is straight up energy of just pushing through, doing the best you can, you know, um, You may need to forgive somebody or you're wondering, like, will somebody forgive me for moving forward? Because it's all about perseverance. It's all about pushing through troops. And at the bottom of the deck, you have success. I know there's no greater goal than love, right? So going after what's best for you ultimately, right? So let's see if I can get a dragon card for you. Prepares your heart to, it, it's, you're, it's like, okay, so prepares your heart to connect with your higher self, okay, yada, yada. I don't, I don't mean to say yada, yada like that, but meaning like your heart chakra, the warm, that warm feeling. So some of you might be a little cold or a little off. You could be dealing with an, an alpha energy, but, um, it is, it's like open your heart. Okay, so there is like a little theme going on here of love and compassion, perseverance, pushing through, getting through what needs to be, what needs to be, you know, gotten through. Um, so for some of you, this is heavy. Update on energy, please. Update on energy, please. Okay, so the wedding card came out. You know, to me, that's it's always sketchy. Okay, bottom of the deck, you got free yourself. Time to take control back of your own life. So I don't know if somebody around you is trying to manipulate certain things, or there's a lot of drama. There's just a lot of stuff that's just unnecessary. Okay. Um. I've been reading my cards for a very long time, troops, and I know I always say one day, Dorian Virtue, she's going to come at me and be like, I can't believe you read this card this way. But I do. You know that and let your friends help you. They're they're shady as shit. It's a shady card. Okay. Um, and Spirit knows how I read my cards. So, you know, I, I don't know if somebody was married, there was adultery, there, there, something, you know. Or there's just stuff being hidden from somebody who's even, say, you're in a, a situation, you know? So, and you got to release yourself, right? So, basically, you know, I, I don't know if there was third-party interference, if there was already a separation, if there was something going on, or there's still a full-fledged marriage and somebody's just dipping out to go dip their stick in whatever they feel they please or spreading your legs however it works okay for you guys but <clears throat> it is time to let go your feelings are real and worth exploring so it tells me that there's somebody else in the picture and at the bottom of the deck make an effort right so <clears throat> this resonates then great if not then it's just not your reading today okay so I'm gonna pull your best advice for the wedding card okay 
So you have Ace of Water, falling in love or re resurface of a relationship, spiritual growth. Could be a new home, a new place. So somebody else must have stepped in because this is where these feelings are linked. Okay, and it could be a new opportunity or a resurface. Say you're just getting out of a marriage and it's time for you to really let go. Or say you got out of a marriage five years ago and you're still holding on, right? It's, it's time to let go. There's, there's somebody else in the picture and here's the opportunity. This is your best advice. So I know when I clarify this now, that's not going to be good. It's going to be like, see ya. Because there's a new sheriff in town. There's a new queen in town. So your best advice would be go off to go off to this, even if it's somebody from your past. What is this wedding card, please? So it looks like you just possibly, yeah, see, nothing's moving forward right this second with someone or uh, anyone because it's just, it's being at two two different minds. Do I want it? Do I don't? It's not making a decision. You know what I mean? Can't figure it out. I do want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I do want it. So it's like you're giving very little to the situation anyway. Anything else? It's like breadcrumbs. You know? It's like breadcrumbs. So decision. So you're still holding on. You're still holding on to, to something or someone. And there's a new opportunity. Maybe it's just time for someone to forgive. Make sure you're being real careful on how you delegate your time, your energy, who you're giving it to. Yeah. So, and you also had the devil and the fool pop out. So you're slowly moving away from this. Slowly moving away from a toxic situation, freeing yourself. Okay, so release your ex. This is just energy that you're still holding on to. You know, easier said than done sometimes. That's leaving a toxic relationship slowly. Okay, again, it's, it's another energy of slowly could possibly be another person. So releasing one to get to the other. There could be some break. There could just be resting. Okay, um, doesn't look like much actions being taken there. Okay. So, it's almost like at the bottom of the deck, once once you make this move, there's this new start and this happiness, it's, you know, it's rebuilding upon something. Um, there's got to be somebody new. What's this romantic feelings? You could be blocking your own newness. Some people hold on to the thoughts, the ideas, the hopes for all the wrong reasons. Okay, so romantic feelings. Either you're going within or somebody's really going within here. Okay, you got the hermit. Once you once you climb that mountain, it's, it's pretty hard to turn around. You, it's, it's what your soul wants. It's what it seeks. Well, this is the process that's happening right now. You're in hermit mode. Or there's, there's somebody that... You got feelings for or vice versa. That's not really saying much. Yeah. Someone got hurt. That's because there's too many people in the picture. So it's going to be real hard for this energy to, to move forward here. Maybe there's... Or, you know, this one moves forward because slowly moving away and, and that one gets hurt. But I'm clarifying the hermit. So this is telling me somebody else got hurt in the pit, in the, in the aftermath of the process. Because your best advice for wedding is to take the new opportunity. Falling in love. Or is it, what is it? A resurgence of a relationship. Just something coming back around from somebody you know. Right? So it's like leaving one, releasing your energy. Looks like there was probably interference. Um, and then you do have romantic feelings. This is like really going within. So either this is you leaving all this and it, it just hurts, but you know what your soul wants. Or this is how somebody else feels all as if they got hurt in the process. Because at one point you were all entangled. 
you know, so it does look like someone does want to come in with a new offer. You know, there is there is a, a special connection. Um, somebody might want to remain single, even though you guys have that connection. Time will tell with that one. It's time. It's time to love. You know, uh, love yourself or someone else. Tell me, release your ex. You got the nine of water. Yes, your wishes are gonna come true, and concerns of what you are going through will fade away. And uh, it's a new love life. So this really does boil down to love. And this is a wish. This is like a blessing in disguise. Or it's something you manifested. I will tell you right now, together it's the Ten of Cups. So whomever this is with, it's there's it's contentment. And it also could be the end of a family situation. With it, Oh no, that's not the Ten, it's the Nine. I, I put the Ten in my head because I combined it with numerology. So, which is a One, which is still in the beginning, right? So what you wanted, your desires, your wishes kick in once you release what needs to be released best advice for romantic feelings i'm gonna pull one more but it says seeds well planted a temporary pause in action unnecessary worry okay so this is probably the other if probably my cross watchers or whoever's watching and knows this is going down let's just get one more so basically that like i said it does tell me something already started and it looks like something will continue. And you got justice. You know, fairness and right decisions. Do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs too. So this is this is no backing down. No, I won't back down. Want to know why? Because you are now the hermit. Whether you're crickets or not, you, you know what your soul wants. And your soul won't tolerate this. So whatever's going on behind the scenes, which is a whole bunch of this. Right? So it makes sense. But Spirit's basically saying the seeds were already planted. It's just a temporary pause in action. Don't worry. And, and, and don't forget who you are either. No, I won't back down. Yes, I'll stand my ground. And that doesn't mean be an asshole. It just means stand strong. Stick to your morals. It's probably what somebody really likes about you anyway. You know, but the past needs to be released. This is what it is for a new foundation to get on its way. You know, 14, 15, which is a six. It's a very harmonious number. It's a successful number. So. <clears throat> well, I was thinking of 14. I just looked over, it was 12.22. Find that balance, partnerships, relationships. Additional messages, please. Please, please, please. Be assertive. <laughs> that one always reminds me of my cheerleading days. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. So don't, don't back down, don't slow down. You know what I mean? Like... Keep going, whatever the message is for. Anything else, my dearies? Anything else? Here's the thing, too. Mm, I want to say this is kind of old pain. Older pain because the four swords are here, but the thing is they're not linked. This would just be like wounds. Because this is the card of healing. It's like release your ex. It's time to lay something to rest. There's somebody else. That somebody else with the romantic feelings got hurt. Won't settle for less with you going into hermit mode. You know exactly what your soul wants, deserves, craves, needs. What you need to feed on. What it takes. 
Oh, this is their energy knowing that you got hurt in the process. It's like forgiveness on all ends, but needing to still push through. And again, this is preparing your heart for warm-hearted love. Shine bright like a diamond. You know, so it's a little warmth here. Something resurfacing. I asked about the Three of Swords and it's forgiveness. So you have that twice. Forgive yourself for getting involved. Forgive yourself or forgive someone else for what went down. I think this is two different forgivenesses, to be honest with you. Because if there is a third party or interference, that, this situation needs to be forgiven too. Um... Maybe there's some guilt attached here. History, there's something, right? But I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love, right? So it's like moving forward is tough. Leaving one for another is a tough scenario. Initially, I don't think that's how it went down, though. Like, there was already a separation. There was already a new stop between two people. But I don't know if something came back around. You know what I mean? With whoever has history here with the marriage. You know, in, in this energy where you got romantic feelings for somebody, but you know what you still want. You already got hurt in the situation. It's important for you to forgive this person, too. But this person's going through a lot, too. It's all about care, compassion, your heart, what you're feeling, pushing through, being successful with love, perseverance, opening your heart, being warm, taking the invitation. Forgiving somebody, maybe you went silent on somebody. I think whatever went down was necessary to get down because this looks like contentment between two people, a wish. It's it's something like that. It's something goes in your favor to a comma, which ultimately goes in both of you guys' favor. Job well done, clearing comma, stuff like that. Let me get one more. Listen to your intuition. I just want to check something real quick. This is forgiveness. The last time. You know, this is basically whether somebody forgives you or not, you gotta push through. It's all about what you what you want, right? So it's like something new is kind of stressing you out. Yeah, see there's still somebody here. Somebody's not talking to you. It's probably this person. Gotta push through. It looks like this, you know. You, you sat with something for too long or... I don't know. Everybody has different ways of going about certain things, you know. Not one way is better than the other per se. This energy, she's the Queen of Cups, whomever it's linked to. Queen of Cups is extremely forgiving, okay? She's definitely holding back right now, too. Possibly took herself out of the situation, something with the past, because there's too much juggling. She's she's looking out, she's looking after her own future. Self-love, yeah. See, there's, there's a lot going on here. I think whatever this is can be worked through, though. I, I don't see... Something that can't be that cannot be not worked through. There's already been healing here. You just haven't released it. It's almost like releasing this 
it is it's like you know it's truly over if you move forward with another lover. And it's sometimes it's hard to let go of the past, but it's it seems to be the best in somebody's best interest right here, right now. You know? So all right, Trooper Loops, I love you, and I will see you when I see you. Have a good one, guys. Bye.